Okay, today we're gonna fish this creek. I'm here with Tyson again. Say hi, Tyson. Hey. <laughs> and uh, um, this creek I fished quite a bit. It's got rainbows in it. It's 1230. We've got a high thin clouds, very little breeze right now. Air temperature is around um, 55 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Water temperature is seven degrees Celsius. I'm using the Tenkara Bum 36 um, with a number three level line. Tyson is using the Mizuchi fully extended. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to see if we can catch us some fish. So just, you know, time things right and Good, 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 good. Okay, up, that's right. There. Yeah, keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on. Okay, good. And off he goes. That's a good sized fish. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Got caught right up there in the. Yeah. So one of the challenges, obviously, with a longer, a little bit longer line on a shorter stream is just that. As the fish gets closer, you've got to control the line. Yeah. Or then they'll be so I was worried about there, so I went like this. Yeah. Oh, you see, there. that's him, that's him. Okay, let's try it again. Same techniques, yeah. Because there's more than one in there. Right about there. Good. Yeah, that's right, good. There. Oh, you got the big one again. They're saving the bigger ones for you. That's good. Excellent. Very nice. That's it. Yeah, good. So run this down the line, hook the hook the fly, and then yeah, nice fish. And off he goes. Good. Yeah. So so that was just to the side. Uh, Worked in the side. current and see if you can also over there on that side where that stick is sticking out. Okay. Very good. Good, good. Now we'll just follow it down. Good. There. That's a brook trout, isn't it? Mm, I don't know, but I'm Yep, yep, it's a brook trout. Hey, my first brook trout. I think. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see him? Yeah. So that's a brook trout. Interestingly enough, I think that's where I caught a brook trout before. I'll have to go back and check my videos. But you can see. Yeah, he's good. And he's small enough that he doesn't have enough weight to get this fly out. There's another one right in the middle. Of it. Yeah, so hold here, hold your tippet ring, and let the rod flip over the other direction. This one? So that the bow is up. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah. And you, got, and you really have to launch it. You really have to bend your rod quite a bit. And then of course you gotta watch the fly. Mm, where it goes. Yeah, so your hand would be out off to the side. Yep, exactly. More, more, more. Let it go. There you go. There. Yep, that's a little rainbow. Good job. Yep. 
Okay. Bring it right down. You can see them. Mm -hmm. Nice little fish. Oh, come on. Now, normally go. they would be right there in the riffles. Yeah. But given that they're cold, they're, they're not. Good fish. Good fish. Yep. Pretty good size one too. For this stream. So he was right back here underneath these sticks. That's a nice fish for here. Yeah. That's a nice fish anywhere. I'll take that any day. Beautiful. So what I did, you notice how, you notice that my line is a little shorter than my rod? Yeah. Good. On a stream like this. Um, so, well, actually the line is actually a couple inches over, but it's not much. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to raise the rod and the, the, the fly is off. The water. Yeah, it's off the water. And then you're able to just flick it forward. Okay. And, and that way you don't always have to bow and arrow cast. Bow and arrow cast is just fine. Mm -hmm. But flipping it in um, is quicker. Mm -hmm. Quicker. And I let the fly hit here. I let the fly hit here and then it swept down and then it came around and I let it dwell just a little bit, knowing that there's a good chance I'm going to hook those branches. Yeah. But that's okay, I can just wait over there and get it. Mm -hmm. But the fish was underneath those branches and took it. And as I lifted the rod, yeah. then he, he you know, set the hook. Yeah. So in water like this, you don't have to be too worried about, if you fish the hole a number of times, don't have to be worried you don't have to worry about hooking a branch because number one, you can, you can wait in there and get it. Mm -hmm. It's not that deep. But number two, you've already worked the pool a few times. It's not like your first cast. Yeah. Your first cast. Then you're like, oh. Yeah, the first couple casts is your best chance to catch a fish out of any particular lie, as long as your presentation is good. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't want to burn those, if at all possible. Yeah. Right? And then after that, experiment. And what did you have to lose? Nothing. We oh, caught a fish. Okay, yeah. let's go up here. Back Eddie. Back. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Good for checking behind you, okay. Yep. Put it further upstream so it has a chance to sink. Like that. Uh -huh. And get get your get your line in front of it a little bit. It lets it sink better. Okay, take a few steps forward, put it right over there and let it swing around. Yeah. Step forward. Yeah, let it swirl in there. Just let it go around and around and around. There. Awesome. There. there. Right there. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Whoa. Nice one. Nice one. Let him, let him hang for a second and calm down. Yeah. Good fish, Tyson. Nice. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they are. Oh, he's out. Oh, no, that's my fly. fly. Yeah, look at that beautiful color. Okay, so what you did mm -hmm. is you put it there in that eddy. You see the foam? Yeah, that's where they're it's sitting. Yeah, it'll just sit there and swirl. It gave it plenty of time for the fish to see it. Uh -huh. um, and then he, he tugged it. So um, you're not, uh, looks good, go ahead, let's do that again. Same place, yeah. same technique. Okay. Yeah, just let it swirl around in there. Watch the, 
cider. If it does any unnatural movement, mm -hmm. then you'll raise your rod tip like you're setting the hook. And if it's a fish, great. If it's a stick, then that sucks. Okay. But it happens. Okay. Good. Watch the, yeah, that's right. If, sometimes the currents will take it over by those underwater snags. And then you have to adjust it. So this time, go right up for that. I want you to try to cast it further over here so it swings by that grassy bank. Okay. Yeah, remember you're in charge of the fly. Don't just let it flop in there. Mm -hmm. Deliver it. Okay. There, there. I saw him come out from underneath the grass and take it. Right on. I didn't see him. You didn't bring your sunglasses. I didn't bring my sunglasses. <laughs> Another nice one. We're getting some nice fish today. Hold it up. Yeah, put a little weight on him. It just lets the... Yeah, nice fish. Good. I can't believe how pretty they are in here. Oh, they're just really pretty little trout. Yeah. Okay. Are they all? Yeah, plant? work it again. You never know. You never know. And it looks like they're just becoming a little bit more active now. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's, uh, you know, yeah, that was good. Way to watch. We're an hour. We've, we've been doing this an hour now. And so the water temperatures might have come up a little bit. Take a step forward, get a little closer, put it closer to that, that grassy bank and let it swing. There you go. That was it. That was good. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Because we're trying to see if there's anything underneath that grassy bank over there. If nothing, we're going to move up. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> it's good. Oh, no, good. Do it again. Uh, when you catch a fish, mm -hmm. always at least run your fly through one time. One time. Again. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know if uh, there's more fish there and why walk away from a fish. All right. Yeah, don't. Yeah, just let it go with the current. Don't drag it. I thought that was one, but it's just it was a current. Sometimes you can't tell, and you did good. You just you just twitched it a little bit because if it was a fish, there, there. Did you see how it was yep. holding? Yeah, that's right. That's an unnatural movement. So you set the hook. There. Okay, good. Keep keep, it, keep the pressure on it. Keep the pressure on it. <laughs> now, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just let him fight. Very nice. Nice red stripe. Yeah. It's even better with sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Beautiful. Such a pretty fish. Look at that red stripe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cast through there again. And if we don't get anything, then we'll move upstream. Yeah. So Utah killer bug, it's big, it's bulky, it gets their attention. It's like a piece of meat uh -huh. in this cold temperature and they're easy to tie. So if you lose them in the willows, then you don't swear too much. Yeah, it took me like 10 minutes to go the other one. Okay. So can you collapse your rod? Yep. It's nice and slow, not to scare them. Move forward a little bit. Right there. You're going to cast up on the right side of the willows and let it swing down with the current. You're fine. Good. That was a good cast. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. There, you took it. <laughs> Did you see him come out? Uh -huh. He came out for it. Well, I was watching a different one. Were you? Yeah, there's a different one in yeah. there. Well, that's good. That means you're going to go get another fish. But he came out for it. Yeah, they're definitely getting more active. Okay. Let's do it again. Same place. See if that other fish will come out. Okay. Good. Oh, he came out and looked at it. He came and looked at it. A little bit to the left, a little bit more into the pool. There you go. There you go. There you go. Watch it. But there, that was him. Yep. <laughs> that was the one you were watching the first time. Did he come up? 
perfect. Okay, now if you could go, he went right back in the pool. Now, take a couple steps forward. Yeah, good to check your tippet. Right about here. Cast further over there and let it swing out. But watch those willows on the far side. Good, 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 good. Let it, let it, let it. There. <laughs> That's it. They're all in there. Oh yeah, they're in there. Yep, grab the fly, turn it upside down, and a quick jiggle and let him fall right off. Bear with me, they're disappearing. I got that, I got that. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Okay, good. Okay, do it again. Okay. A little bit more to the left. There! You definitely saw your line go there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you've just cast again, so let it let it go. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, step forward. Oh, that was good. Good cast around the corner. You got the wind now. See, it's hard to see. Yeah. Let me try. Bring your line back in. A little one for me. Typically, the largest fish will take the fly through a pool first because he's the big one. Uh -huh. So it's it's a pecking order, and then they get smaller from then on out. Um, although that pool back there, you caught three nice fish in all in one row. Yeah. Trying to get it to swing under the branches without... The, one of the tricks is getting it to swing under the branches without um, drawing the fly to the surface, letting it stay down there in the depths. And that's a, that's a challenge. You've got to sort of angle your rod tip down and away without pulling it up. That's decent. Okay, good. Okay, well, you ready to move to the other stream? I'm down, yep. Okay, say goodbye, Tyson. Goodbye. Okay, it is 1.40 now, and uh, we're gonna move to a different stream.